This is a Ryland, Alabama community service announcement. The United States Postal Service is closing offices. In an attempt to reduce expenses, the Postal Service closes offices that they feel can be done without. Once again, the Ryland Post Office has found its way onto the list of possible closures. Why should the Postal Service keep the Ryland Post Office open? Business-wise, it makes sense because Ryland does more revenue than the other offices that are on the list and many that are not on the list. For example, the Trenton Post Office or the Paint Rock Post Office. The Ryland Post Office makes a profit. It does not cost the Postal Service money, it makes money. Most offices do not make a profit. Ryland is the exception, not the rule. So why then is Ryland on the list? Postal officials will attempt to close the offices where they will meet the least resistance. Ryland has no routes and is currently without a postmaster, so they think it will be easy to close. The Postal Service is taking you for granted. They assume you will drive to another branch, say the Brownsboro Post Office or to Maston Lake Station in Huntsville. They think you may get on your computer and go to USPS.com and buy your stamps there. But they will count on their monopoly. The fact that you've always used the post office, they just think you'll continue to use the post office. What can you do? Watch for the town hall meeting. Make sure you attend and voice your objections. Use the Ryland Post Office as often as possible. Buy your stamps and mail your parcels at Ryland. And last, but definitely not least, make phone calls and write letters. What should you say to the Postal Service? Tell them that they don't have a monopoly. Tell them that you'll pay your bills online. Why would you go to USPS.com and buy stamps if you're going to be online anyway? Just go ahead and pay your bills there. Cut them out. The Postal Service is just a middleman. In fact, you can send your friends emails and stop writing letters. Make it clear that you will go to their competitors. You don't have to send your parcels to the post office. You can always use UPS or FedEx. Make sure they understand that you don't like to be taken for granted. You will take your business elsewhere. Now who should you tell this to? A good person to contact is Veronica Johnson. She's the manager of Post Office Operations Area 1. She's over all the post offices that start with the zip codes 356, 357, 358, and 359. Her address is 3408 Wall Triana Highway, Huntsville, Alabama, 35813. Her phone number is 256-461-6611. Or you can contact her boss, Bill Mitchell. He's the district manager for the Alabama district. His address is 351 24th Street North, Birmingham, Alabama. 35203. His phone number is 205-521-0201. How will this decision be made? The Postal Service is like water. It will take the path of least resistance. If the people of Ryland fight for their post office, most likely it will stay open because some of the other communities will not be as vocal or political. In conclusion, start writing letters and making phone calls. Make sure the Postal Service knows that you want the Ryland office to stay open. 
and make sure that they know you'll take your business elsewhere if they close it. And it can never hurt to contact Mo Brooks, Jeff Sessions, or Richard Shelby because the Postal Service has to listen to political pressure. Thank you so much for your time and attention and please do your best to keep the community of Ryland alive by supporting the Ryland Post Office. This has been a Ryland, Alabama Community Service Announcement.